Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is uh, Google Blockly, and I've, I'm f looking at this problem again and again. I have this, I need to get this piece of code, rather, this block out from the logic. Where is it? Math, maybe? Logic. Yeah, this one here. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm going to use it twice. And it really wishes. I really wish for some way to just save off this piece. Right-click and then save it somewhere. I know that this Google Blockly is designed for uh, heavy-duty, serious programmers. Um, <clears throat> I recognize that the developer is specific. He does not think that this is for uh, amateurs like myself, but as an amateur I have an opinion as well, just like everybody else. One of the things I want to do though is save, and in reading the FAQ on Google Blockly, somebody mentioned recursive, uh, recursive saving or recursive drawing, and curious I went and investigated. So what I would like to demonstrate here is recursive drawing. So I'm zoomed in a little too much right now. Let me just um, go ahead and add a new drawing. This is recursivedrawing.com. I'll give you a, a very basic tutorial. I'm not an expert on this. But here is my dot. I don't know how to change the colors. I don't know if it's even possible to change the colors. I'm going to hold down the Control key, and I'm going to click and drag so I can make that any size I want. Okay. Now. I've got that one, so I can just drag this exist the other drawing I have, and just like that, I've got the same drawing. Not very interesting, I agree, but I can then drag a different object or one of these other objects, like this one, onto the page, and I create a new one, and I can just continue building upon these. Now, when I select any of these, I'm not sure which this one is mostly connected to, but I can control the size by holding down the control key and clicking. Now this one here, you can see there's two objects. I'm not sure how to extract it, but let's give you another demonstration. Drag the box out. Uh, I will shrinkify it and then rotate a little bit. And now I'll create, yeah, I don't need to create a new one, I'll just drag this existing one out. A little slow, but you can see I'm, I'm pulling out a, th I'm pulling out, or well, essentially what I had as a prior drawing. So if I click here, I should be able to control all of these other drawings. So I'm going to click and drag my mouse, and now I've modified all of these. Now at the end of this one, I can click and rotate. And you can see quickly that you get some pretty uh, intense drawings. Now I'm not doing anything, it's still crunching on my swirl. I'm curious if this is what this application or what the, uh, it's still working. Let's see if I can, alright, so right click. Is this HTML5? Oh, okay. Let's see if Control Z works. Doesn't work. All right, so just to give you another demonstration. I'll make this circle smaller, and then I'll drag the same circle out. And now it's going to get repeat repeated. I give it some space, and I twist it like that. Now I got a nice spiral. Yes. And you can see on the right hand side this is the the various evolutions of the uh, of the drawing. So I can control down to let's see we're at this level here. So I can control that one. And etc. So now I've got a new drawing, and I can 
drag this one right onto here, and I've got I've got the same. I've got a new piece of of working drawing. Now you're wondering what's the point? Well, in this instance, I would really like to be able to make a recursive copy of this because for this particular exercise, fizzing and buzzing, I'm going to need at least one, two, three um, Magellos or remainders. And to click and drag for each one of these is a pain. I don't want to do it. I would much rather use something like this, which allows me to create multiple drawings or multiple recursions of the desired object. It's just like that. Drag it out again, and you'll see how easy that is, how useful it is. See if I can drag this out. No, it only works from the left side. So if I create another one, I drag this out. You can see this could be very useful if you are writing code. Thanks for watching, and thank you to the developer of Google Blockly and to uh, the developer at uh, recursivedrawing.com. Thank you, and happy computing.